Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for this subject, SCPM. We are on a mission to be doing every possible MCQ. We have already covered one milestone whereby we have done every possible question from the module. And it's already there on our YouTube channel with all the summaries, with all the concepts required to solve every question. And now we are trying to be covering this part that is board of studies and these are more nearer to exams because ICA has put them on the website especially for this purpose that the students can practice. Okay, so let's start it off for today. Now just a reminder in case you all have any doubts you can always uh, contact us on our telegram ID at the rate AJ next. Apart from that uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course link is there in the description and for Every student of CA Inter, I know that uh, CA final guys are watching this, but for CA Inter, we are going to be launching our complete costing course free on our YouTube channel. Every week, two lectures will be coming, I think on Saturday, Sunday. And uh, you'll be getting soft copy completely free. You'll be getting all the tests that we have to be doing everything. So therefore, if a student really wants to be studying, uh, then they'll be getting best of the books whereby ranking of each question is there, the summary of each question is there, okay, without paying a single rupee. Please uh, spread this, especially to the CA Inter guys. It'll help them in future, okay. Uh, the question for today is, Shri Krishna Bearing Ball Trading Company is considering the proposal to enter into the trading of casting iron as well. Mr. DK, Chief Strategic uh, Officer, I think, enumerates the entry and exit barriers of the proposed business line and called a review meeting at the request of the CEO to consider the final advice of the C-suit. C-suit includes the CEO, the CFO, all those people. Okay. You, chief cost advisor, also attended the meeting and suggested that the barriers have influence on profitability rate as well as the nature. Mr. DK told SKBTT, that is the name of the company, I guess, expected that there will be high entry and exit barriers and you are advised to tell the nature and the margin rate in context of five forces model. Now five forces model was made by Michael Porter. He told that entry and exit barriers affects basically the margin over here. Okay, that is a profitability. So, uh, so there will be high entry and exit barriers. What does this thing mean that suppose tomorrow you become a C and you start to be thinking, sir, I want to manufacture mobiles. What is the problem that you all have? Sir, problem could be that we require huge amount of capital. That is the entry barrier. Sir, I want to be making revolver, sir. I want to be entering into the business of manufacture arms. Boss, you cannot. Okay, that is like, you know, there is an entry barrier by the government. So every company cannot uh, manufacture like, you know, arms and ammunition. They give a certain license. So there is an entry barrier, but then there are exit barriers also. Exit barriers means what? For a small example, just try to be thinking that you started a factory for something, okay? And uh, you took a place on rent. Now, when you took the place on rent, there was a contract for five years with the landlord. Before that, you cannot exit, okay? There is an exit barrier because whenever you will try to be thinking, suppose only one year over, and then you try to be thinking, I don't want to continue this uh, factory anymore. I'll return it to the landlord. There is a penalty clause, so therefore that is the exit barrier. Or suppose you are manufacturing some product, you tied up with a customer and you have to supply him for a period of eight years and only one year is over. You cannot wind off your business. Why? Because that guy will do a case on you. That's an exit barrier. Okay. So they are saying that this uh, business has high entry and exit barriers. Okay. So the question is what? High entry and exit barriers will lead to low margins with stable returns. Okay. Low margins with risky returns. Okay. High margin with risky returns and high margin with stable returns. Now, to answer this, I'll bring you to a matrix, okay, that I have taught in the regular course, of course, okay, but over here, it'll be something like this. So, high entry barriers and high exit barriers will be there on the bottom right. Now, obviously, at that time, it will be high returns, high returns because there are very high entry barriers. So, there'll be very few people who are there in the market. So, therefore, at that time, everybody will be able to charge premium. So, therefore, returns will be very high. Now, but obviously, in this case, risk will also be very high. Okay, because you'll have to be investing huge amount of capital and you cannot exit whenever you all want. So, therefore, your risk increases. So, therefore, in case you are ever in a business whereby entry and exit barriers are very high. 
then always do remember that there will be high risk. But then in this case, there will be high returns also. Okay, so therefore in this case, the answer should be three, I guess. That is high margins, but risky returns. Okay, that's it about this question. Uh, just a reminder, you can scan this QR code to be watching all the MCQs from the module of this subject. Okay, completely no skipping anything. Okay, all the MCQs of the module you'll be finding on this link. And I'll see you all next time with another video. Share such videos. We take lot amount of effort to make this content. Every video takes lot amount of time for us. So therefore, we bring out the best to you all. So share it with your friends who still have to be appearing for your exams, uh, for the exams of ACPM. Okay, thank you guys. All, all the best. Bye.